here we are to talk about Police Academy 4. Um, shit. Citizens on Patrol, or whatever it was called. Let me get it right. Um, let me look. Jeez, that's pretty bad. Doesn't even show all the names of the movies on the back. Um, what sucks about this is, is that, um, Police Academies 1 through 6 was mono, so which means you can't use Pro Logic. You can't shoot anything into four channels. Um, the only one you can do that on is Mission to Moscow, which is the seventh movie. All right. These are all rated PG-3. You know what I don't understand? The first one was rated R. The second one was PG-13. And everything after that was PG. All these movies. Uh, and, and you know what I didn't understand? Um, how can you rate Police Academy 5, I mean Police Academy 4, PG, when you could see the woman's nipples through her shirt while she was in the pool? Just, that's nudity, that's at least PG-13. Um, I don't understand that, but this is, Shell Factor did a wonderful job. When you watch this... These movies don't look so great on an OLED, but if you watch it on an LED with more brightness, they tend to look better. Certain movies don't look right on an OLED. I'm more prone to think like a lot of newer stuff that's on Blu-ray that's meant that that's not remastered. Like newer shows, they look incredible on OLED, but something like this, you really gotta watch it on an LED. That's just my o overall opinion. I tried watching this on an OLED. It looks, still looks very good, but it's not the same thing. Watch it on an LED television. All right, that's it. Bye-bye.